Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about cell shading settings because cell shading is not just a toggle. There are actually two different sliders which you can decrease and increase to modify how the cell shading looks. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to show you is a screenshot that I took of my character. There is no reshade, g-shade, no nothing. This is just a vanilla screenshot straight from the game. And the main thing I want to showcase over here is how similar the cell shading is to Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. Because as many of you guys know, I am a huge fan of Honkai Star Rail as well as Genshin Impact. I play both of those games mainly because I love the music, I love the art style, and of course I love the waifus. So when Sega introduced cell shading, I was like, oh wow, we're going to be able to make our characters look exactly like Genshin Impact. However, it's a lot easier said than done. The main reason is because the way that cell shading works in NGS is after you toggle it on, there are two sliders that you can adjust. There is cell shading outline emphasis as well as cell shading shadow density. And lucky for us, Gloria Sunshine did all of the testing already. And if you want to make it look like Honkai Star Rail or Genshin Impact type of graphics, what you want to do is you want the cell shading outline emphasis to be at 26 and cell shading shadow density at 39. However, here comes our very first problem. As you guys know, in order to enable cell shading or disable it, you come into the salon, go to miscellaneous settings, cell shading settings, enable cell shading, and here are the two sliders. Well, there are no numbers here. So how on earth do you actually adjust the sliders? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna exit the salon. And once you're out of the salon, you're gonna press escape over here, go to systems, go to options, and then go to your graphics tab over here, and you wanna scroll to near the bottom. Over here, you're gonna see character cell shading enabled. And right under it, now you have the sliders with the numbers. So again, if you want the Genshin Impact type of look, you want character cell shading outline emphasis on 26, and you want cell shading shadow density on 39. However, Gloria doesn't stop there because someone actually asked them, hey, I like Tales of Symphonia, I like the graphics of that, how do I get that type of look? And in order to get the Tales of Symphonia type of look, you're simply going to change the outline emphasis down to 13, and you're going to drag the shadow density all the way up to 80. So this is uh, pretty crazy, but after that is done, then you're simply going to exit out. And now you can see in the salon that it looks vastly different when I zoom in over here. You can see that the hair outline is extremely, extremely prominent, and that's kind of like the art style of the tail series. The hair really pops out. However, I'm going to be sticking with the Genshin Impact sliders, simply because I do take a lot of screenshots of my character from the front, and I do like to see my character's face. With these shadows turned on, as you can see, it's pretty heavy on the shadows, which isn't as favorable for the face for me, but it really does make the hair pop quite a bit. So again, I'm going to head back to my graphics tab. I'm going to change my values, again, outline emphasis to 26, and shadow density to 39. And voila. All right, we are back to Genshin Impact type of graphics. And there we go. Now we have the art style of Genshin Impact or Hongai Star Rail in NGS, making our characters look very, very nice. Now, if you do use Twitter, I will leave Gloria Sunshine's Twitter in the description below. Make sure to give her a follow because she deserves it. She also has some pretty awesome posts over here, like this One Piece ship. This is pretty impressive. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys find it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.